Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another installment of another farm roguelike. It is great to be here folks and I hope you're doing well. So this is our cook run on ultimate difficulty and we are staring at week 8. That's right, this is the final week in our cook playthrough here. So let's tune on into the farm and see what madness is about. Let's go. So where did we leave off? Well, we left off in a pretty good position here. We're touching about $5 million. We have the rent paid. It's not a matter of can we win or not. It's a matter of how much cash money can we make. Now, I checked in with Logan, and Logan was saying we should have about $10 million easy. Well, I'm going to push the limit. Let's try for 15. Let's see if we can get $15 million with this build here. We are making very good use of our space. And with demolition in effect, it might be a wise idea to kind of mine some of this out. Although there is a lot of energy to spend down here in our quarry area, it might be the time to do it. So let's just rock and roll here. Let's farm the crops here. Let's get the contents of our furnace and cheese press, of course. Let's collect it all into our essentially bottomless backpack. And the first course of action will, of course, be to tend to the fields here. So let's get the fields all dug up. And really, with... The final week in effect here, there's not too much of a reason to really plant too many more crops, right? It's just not a reason. We're not going to have enough time. Um, but I think we can probably get... Let's get one more round of crops down here. So what do we have for seeds? Uh, let's take a look. I suppose let's go, let's go with some wheat. Yeah, why not? Let's go with some wheat. One of my favorite parts about the final week here, folks, is when we have the opportunity to, of course, just offload everything, right? So Logan thinks 10 million plus is going to be easily had. I'm curious, though, for sure. I think the most I've ever made in this game is like 5.5 mil. And that was, of course, our minor run on Ultimate. You can check that one out. It's right here on the channel. And if you are enjoying the content here on the channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. Love to have you if you like this game. Uh, we've got plenty of playthrough series of this game right here on the channel. Nice, neat little playlist. Just give it a look if you are interested. And if you're new here and you're enjoying the content, like I said, I'd love to have you in the community. Just, just think about it. So let's go ahead and get all this watered up here. And fertilized where appropriate. Obviously, we want to fertilize the crops that we just threw down to give it a chance to grow before the end of the week and the end of the run. So once the final day dawns here, as in payment day, once that dawns, the, the game ends. You either win because you pay the rent or you lose because you don't have enough cash to pay the rent. We are obviously in a good position. But it's all about how much cash money can we make. What is that final sum once the weekends and you're gonna have to tune in to this episode to find out of course how much did we actually end up with I think you've kind of seen my strategy you've seen my build you know cheese soup is our power item here we have a stack of 2500 we've been using truffle soup to make truffle soup right to double the crafting of, of truffle soup and it gives us just this wild stack of truffle soup usage that we then go ahead and turn into our power product like cheese soup. We also have a nice little power stack of fried eggs. And previous to that, we had a bunch of donuts. We just offloaded that though in the last episode. But at one point, we had a, we had three power stacks of 2,000 plus of each donut, fried egg, and cheese soup. And when it came time to sell that cheese soup, folks, what was it? Like $2 million, I believe, in one sale. Biggest sale I've ever made in this game. For sure. So I think the cook is proving to be very, very strong. And this build in general is proving to be very strong. In fact, animals are very strong. Like, just very strong. So there's a lot of strong elements at work here in this run. And, you know, if, if you're new to this game, or maybe you're just kind of stopping by. If you're new to this game and you're interested, you know, let us let this run serve as a testament to how strong that the animals are and the cooked products. We obviously have some good upgrades that work for us. And I will actually go ahead and mine all this out. We're getting free cash for energy, essentially. 
But yeah, let it serve as a as a testament to the consumable goods and their sell price, especially with some decent upgrades. Like fatty is the main one I'm talking about, and that is of course this upgrade here. Consumable consumable value, excuse me, plus 100%. It's mighty. That takes, you know, a decent cheese soup and turns it into something that sells better than a diamond bar, even. A diamond bar with wealth of wealth, even. Wait, is that, is that a true statement? Is it? Maybe. We'll have to check. I think it, it's close. The diamond bar with wealth of wealth might be 720. Cheese soup high end is 700, of course. So all good things. I mean, definitely learned a lot in this particular playthrough. As it relates to the synergy of some of the consumable products. Alright, so we have a lot of stones. I just want to get this mined out once here. I want to switch my mines to coal. And then we'll, we'll just let the, the stones kind of creep in. But we're actually going to get a lot of diamonds from this as well. And why not add diamonds as a nice little compliment to our overall kit here. And some of our mines get toggled to these gemstones here. Again, I'm not certain how that happens, but obviously it happened in the last day of, of last week. The intention was, of course, to, to just get coal here. So let's continue on with this arduous mining process. We're getting some cash in the process, though, of course. So it's not all bad. Though we did tap out our energy bar, imagine that. Luckily, we have a million kale sandwiches to prop us right back up. I think we made pretty efficient use of, of the space here. Nice big farm fields can help us support, you know, all kinds of things. We got some pigs, we got some cows, we got some chickens. It was fun to use the, the chickens in this one, right? They're a seeming, seemingly they're a basic animal, right? It's like, ooh, you get an egg, great. Well, the egg actually sells pretty good. All you gotta do is fry it up in a little bit of oil. And you can rip off the general public with your offering, for sure. Not sure who's paying so much for a fried egg, but it's all good. Chef Ramsay approved, right? I actually got a kick out of the last video I made in the series about Gordon Ramsay. I'm a huge fan of Gordon Ramsay. I think he's a funny guy. And I like his, uh, you know, his show. And I got a kick out of visualizing what he would, how he would act if we say, presented him our staple product, the cheese soup, right? What would he say? Let me know. Well, what do you think Chef Ramsay would say? Do you think he'd be impressed? I don't. I just got a I just got a feeling that probably wouldn't be too impressed with you know a microwaved bowl of Velveeta. But maybe I am selling our culinary skills a little bit short here, folks. That could certainly be the case. We are a cook by trade after all, but on this farm, we wear many hats. We wear the hat of the miner. We wear the hat of the lumberjack. At least we used to. Haven't cut down a tree in a grip. Just haven't needed to. And I'm going to uh, save my kale here. I need the kale for the truffle soup, of course. So sorry, cow friends. If you're looking for some kale, it's not for sale. So let's get a few of these jars. Our truffle soup, of course, does help us out with the crafting of jars as well. So just wildly powerful, the, the truffle soup is. Alright, what else do we have? 
All right, radishes are good. Let's go with the wheat now. Cow friends, just accept the wheat. When I drag the cursor over you to feed you the wheat, just please accept it. it makes this go much smoother. Parsnip. Let's go with the cauliflower. You bet. And a few carrots are coveted by our chicken friends here. A few more parsnips. And some cauliflower action as well. Parsnip. Carrot. Cauliflower. Getting a bunch of eggs. So the pink donut we're using here gives us additional animal production, which is very nice. It's another little synergy that we've kind of fallen into with this build. There's a lot of ways to sort of buff this build and feel like we've uh, taken advantage of that. I'd say the most trying aspect of this was, of course, the, the early game, right? I mean, I remember selling copper bars just to stay afloat here. And then we rushed the field kitchen, and after we got the field kitchen, there was no looking back from there. Alright, let's find our milk, and let's get it in the cheese press, of course. Make that fine Velveeta. Lovely stuff. Alright, windmills full, animals fed. At least the select animals are fed. Sorry, cows. Fields watered. Yep, I remember doing that early. Okay, so the furnace question comes into play here. So let's definitely get our sand in there first and foremost. Then we got a bunch of diamonds that are going in next. 44 diamonds, actually. It's a lot of diamonds. Might as well get the gold in next. Little mini stack of gold. Yeah, just a little little side gig, right? Just kind of chipping in some stuff on the side here. Iron, you bet. Copper, sure thing. We have the capacity. In fact, speaking of capacity, black market, cowman, and power boost. I'm good on those. Don't don't need them. Just don't need them. All right. So next up will be the white beat to kind of fill out the rest of this. Do we not have white beet? Okay, yeah, we do not have white beet. Very interesting. That's okay. Not really a necessity. Bunch of sapphire there. Alright, that's completely fine. So let's use our lumber for some coal. Might as well. Is there anything else that we need to throw into the furnaces? Not really. Alright, so let's begin the crafting process here. So what do we do? Well, this is what we've been doing here. So we're going to craft our truffle soup here. And we have a bunch of kale. We're actually going to run out of... Let's see, how many truffles do we have exactly? 655. <laughs> okay, so this is going to use a lot of glass. So I'm going to monitor my glass level here. Don't want to use it all on the truffle soup because we need some to make the cheese soup, of course. So we'll get, yeah, let's get like a 350 stack of this truffle soup here. All right, good, good stuff. And let's just gorge it. We're not worried about sodium intake here, folks. No, sir. And I got to fast click this. They need a consume all button or function for sure. So yes, I'm literally holding my mouse with two hands and fast clicking this all the way down. But this should give us enough truffle soup to craft for the next few turns, I would imagine. I mean, look at this. We're in the 700s, 800s. And of course, shout out to Logan for illuminating this idea upon me. Just brilliant stuff, my man. Brilliant stuff. Gonna give myself carpal tunnel or something. <laughs> All 
All right, the truffle soup has been gorged, and we just intook about what? 750,000 calories? About, yeah, sounds about right. So let's craft our famed cheese soup. Get out the microwave, call Gordon Ramsay, let's go. Yeah, we're going to run out of glass here, folks. Well, it's going to be close. So I definitely don't want to run out of glass. That wouldn't be good. Well, it wouldn't be good as it, as it relates to trying to get the cash, of course, to get to 15 mil. So... What are we going to do? Well, we're going to tear up the land. We're going to call Shia LaBeouf. And we're going to have him dig us some holes, of course. And I'm pretty sure this is how my minds get toggled to something different. Doing this every turn. But we need that sand. Alright, so let's see... 147 additional units of sand. Very nice. Let's fill our furnaces with that. I was wondering what I'm going to do with the rest of my furnaces. Well, let's fill it with sand. Get that very useful and beneficial glass. In fact... Pigs, you like radishes. You don't like grass anyways, so... Let's make a sandbox. Anybody play in the sandbox when they were young? I don't know why I did. Sandbox, yeah. Sandbox was good stuff. Alright, so we got a bunch more glass coming next turn, which is great. Let's craft our fried eggs. And then you guess what we're crafting next here, folks. We're gonna get some pink donuts as well. Start building these monstrous stacks. I mean, at a minimum of four donuts per craft, it's, it's just nutty. And we have a lot of flour, right? It's a reason for all the windmills, of course. Really interesting how this build can kind of support three power items. Really, the thing you run the lowest on is glass and the occasional kale crisis, if you will. But otherwise, it usually seems like when you're when you're trying to go with a wide array of products, you're using the same, you know, materials to make that product. So you can't build giant stacks. Well, in this particular build, we can, because we have three products that are, of course, diverse as far as what you need to make them. So let's check some pricing. Cheese soup is selling low end, not good. Fried eggs selling high end, which is great. Donut selling about mid. So let's sell the fried egg and let's make a swift 300k. Lovely stuff. Sell the earthworm. Grass, we can hold on that to sell it at a later date. Truffles, we're down to 195. The once mighty truffle stack, right? Roses can hold on to those. We have, of course, already checked the shop. Well, sorry, we checked the black market, not the shop. Buy a few trace amounts of coal, and I think we're about good there. The side quests are of no real use to us. Eh, I suppose we can do this one. There you go, bud. I will be taking that wood. Let's throw that wood in the furnace. Let's make some, uh, some coal. Don't want to run out of coal. The coal has not been a problem in this, really, at all. Much to my surprise. All right, I'm going to check my mines, make sure we're good, and then we are getting on out of this day. Going to upgrade day the next day. And see what we get to kind of put a little cap on this fun run. So let's go. All right, day two dawns, and what are we looking at for an upgrade? We have Dandy, Rich Harvest, Triple Upgrade. 
All crops have 50% to give one more resource, okay? We're not making clothes at all. Beetroot, cabbage, and carrot value plus 100%. We are growing one of those three. Let's go with rich harvest. Not the greatest, but certainly do worse. I mean, we are growing enough crops where you could definitely justify that. It's better than something that gives you, like, sardines. Right? Alright, digging some more holes. So let's get our wheat planted. Like I said, it's going to reach a point where it's just not worth it to really plant more seeds. There simply just won't be enough time for the crop to grow. But wheat grows pretty fast. So do the parsnips, I do believe. So, certainly grow some more parsnips as well. This is the parsnip seed, correct? Sure is. Alright, we have three remaining... Let's get some fertilizer down. Looks like we have some white beetroot up here. Again, I'm a bit shocked that we ran out of white beets. Must have committed them all to my furnace at the end of the last week, is my guess. I guess let's just go widespread with this. I think they need like a fertilizer spreader or something. Maybe another farm roguelike Rebirth will have something like that. But I envision a machine that just spreads fertilizer. Right? You, you kind of load it in there. Maybe the, the turn before. And then it spreads it to a certain amount of tiles. That'd be nice. It can help automate some of these processes a little bit quicker. So let's go ahead and get the wheat in the windmill. Need that flour, and flour is going to quickly usurp sugar. It just will. Alright, let's feed the pigs. Get some more of that fine truffle product. We're kind of here. So here you go, pigs. And one thing I definitely learned in this is you don't really want to mix animals in fences. I mean, you can, but when it comes time to feeding them, right, makes it more challenging and more time consuming. So for all future animal pens that we construct, we are going to construct one fence for each animal type. That is something I learned. So take it from me. All right, let's collect some of these stones. And the coal. Get some trace things from the stones, like diamonds, sometimes. That is, of course, a benefit of the milk soup. Just another way this build synergizes, right? You can't really get away from mining. Like, you're going to have to build... Several mines, especially in an ultimate run like this, that goes eight weeks long. So why not take advantage of it? Milk soup is pretty simple to make. You just need a cow and you need some glass. Alright, good deal. The stones have been collected. Last note of coal goes down. Alright, so you guessed it. We are going to tear up this field here. Need some more of that glass. 
Can't run out of that. Love me a diamond shovel, for sure. Probably the most overlooked tool in this particular run, right? Once I got that diamond shovel, it was like, wow. We can really do some damage. With the accumulation of sand, which is of course super important to us. This build is not made possible without a lot of glass. In fact, I'd be curious to know how much glass I actually used in this playthrough. How much do you think, folks? There's no way to verify. Well, I suppose there is a way to verify if somebody wanted to go back through the entire playthrough and calculate all of the glass that was used, but please don't do that. You got better things to do. But what, what does your gut tell you? How much glass? I'd say we used a lot. <laughs> 20,000 units, maybe? Maybe more? Alright, cows, you are next up. Well, cows and chickens. Because we got them all mixed up, of course. I've already explained why I don't like that. Come get your wheat, cows. Let's go. Radishes... Here's a cow that wants a radish. Unfortunately, cows, we're going to hold on to our kale. Actually, I think we're doing just fine on kale. We have almost a thousand units of it. So we could probably part with some of it to get some more milk. At the end of it all, you know, milk is going to be a product that we'll be able to sell. So yeah, let's, let's not be mean here. Our cows have been good to us. Our cows have been great to us, actually. If we have dreams of 15 million, well, we're going to have to get it done. By way of the cow and by way of the cheese soup. Alright, milk in the old cheese press is here. Let's press that down into a nice block of Velveeta. For Gordon Ramsay. Alright, looking good. Fields aren't watered yet. So let's make sure we do that. Oh, never mind. They are. Alright, looking good. So now we can go into the crafting phase, of course. So let's do that. We don't need to make truffle soup. We're doing just fine on truffle soup. So let's use our 768 units of glass to make some more cheese soup, of course. And we can keep an eye on the on the truffle soup counter there. After all the crafting is done, kind of see where it's at. See if we need to make more, of course. We're approaching 4,000 units of cheese soup. Just nutty, wild stuff here, folks. Fried eggs, you bet. And it looks like we're going to get a couple more rounds out of the sugar that we have here for the donut. So we'll get... Another round tomorrow for sure. And then we'll use the rest of it on the fourth day of the week. Alright, 1300 donuts. Looking good. Let's check the black market. Minor axe, spooky tools. I'm good on all that. Shop. Yeah, let's buy some coal. You bet. And now let's check some pricing. So I'm kind of looking at pricing for a lot of this stuff, right? Definitely sell it high. Like this stone is selling 14. 
So let's sell that right now. That's 151K. Milk is selling top end at 64 per. But if we do that, then we can't make cheese. So it's a little too early to sell that. Truffle, hold on to that. Uh, how about cheese soup? Selling low end at 600. Gold bar, no good. Donut, no good. Iron bar, selling high end. Sure, we'll sell that. Diamond bar, selling good enough. Let's sell it. Copper bar, not selling good at all. Fried egg, is selling great. So let's sell that for another 75k. And we're closing in on this, the point where I ended the minor run here at about 5.5 million. So we should just crush that given we're sitting on probably, what, $3 million in our cheese soup. Just got to get to a point where we can sell it. We sell high here on this channel, folks. All right, how about the rose? I've been sitting on this, yeah. <laughs> Selling high end at four. All right, looking good. I don't really think we have really anything else to put in the furnace. I mean, we just don't. Could dig some more holes, but we don't really need to. So let's go ahead and end our turn there into Forager tomorrow. All right, day two ends, day three dawns. So let's do the proverbial harvesting of the fields. It's rain and wheat, amber waves of grain. Got a bunch of glass that time as well. 552 units, very nice. Looks like we do have some white beets coming up here. The question is, when will they be done? It's going to be next turn. Because if it's next turn, we can still do something with them. But any later, we're going to be going to be struggling. So I don't really think there's any additional reason to plant. So four days. Four days for the kale as well. Uh, four days for the white beets. Yeah, unless we buy some seeds from the shop, there's no point in it. So let's fertilize what we got and start decommissioning our farm fields here. It's always a sad day when you got to decommission something that you worked hard to get installed, right? But it's not a sad day here, folks, because we are going to be riding off into the sunset. Probably on the back of a cow. With the chicken on our shoulder, and a bowl of microwaved Velveeta, and a bad Yelp review. That is our future. Retirement here, folks. The day we all look forward to. Alright, more flour, you bet. Let's just get it going. Let's get it going. Let's go around the rosy of these little uh, windmills here. All right, looking good. Let's get the fields all mined out. I'm just focusing on the coal. I don't need to do that stone. We'll get a few trace minerals. Not really going to move the line too much, right? Not going to move the needle too much. Just don't really need to do it. Already sold our power sack stone, right? Alright, Cole. Welcome... Let's go ahead and get this torn up and dug out again. All 
All right, looking good, looking good. Keep on digging those holes, Shia LaBeouf. Let's go. All right, looking good. Pigs, how you doing? You want some pumpkins? Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. Whatever you need, I gotcha. Radishes? You bet. It takes several. You want some potatoes? Yeah, you bet. All right, looking good. Let's make sure we get our pickaxe. Get this last little coal node mined. Very nice. All right, cows and chickens. You're next up. Don't be stingy with me now, cow. Just accept the wheat. All right, let's make a few more jars. Gotta watch our glass supply, of course. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start crafting with the cheese soup versus the truffle soup. I will craft it down to no charges left on our truffle soup. And then we'll start making truffle soup as well. But of course, glass is kind of becoming a problem. It appears as I always knew that it, that it would, right? I mean, really, this playthrough has been a balancing act, right? So it's, it's a very profitable kind of build, very profitable kit, if you will. It's just all about... It's all about balancing your resource levels. You're heavy on one thing, and then you're going to need another thing, right? And then once you overcorrect, then you're going to be short on this or that. It's just a balancing act. 226 units of sand, though. That should go a decent way in getting us some more glass for next turn. And then, of course, we can just use the remnants of our fields as a sand pit, essentially. Do have some white beets as well. That'll be very nice. Get those in with glee. Lovely. Let's check the black market here real quick while I'm thinking about it. Ore crops, swift hammer. Good on that. Let's buy some coal. And sand. Yeah, you bet. This is what we need. All right, looking good. All right, what are we looking at here? Copper bar selling good, so let's sell it. All right, furnace capacity is wide open, but we just don't have any anything to really put in into it so let's go ahead and craft our cheese soup and again i'm watching our truffle counters here we'll bring this down to zero and then we'll get some truffle soup so you want to make a truffle soup and you want to consume said truffle soup and then use the three charges that you have to make some more truffle soup now what do you get? Well, you get more charges of truffle soup. Which works out really well, especially when you're mass crafting things, right? The only drawback is, of course, you have to sit here and click the darn button a million times. But I'll make quick work of that. And boom, we are right back into a healthy level of truffle soup charges if you will all right cheese soup let's go our stack has 
has exceeded 4,000 now. Just wild stuff here. Fried egg? You know it. Absolutely. We are frying up eggs here on this farm. The most basic of basic things. We're charging a pretty penny for it. It is one fine egg. You know, this is a free range chicken. Three hundred seventy eggs, and that is the power of the truffle soup, of course, and the donuts. I don't want to rob all of my glass, but definitely need some truffle soup. Might as well get a, get a bit in the belly here. <laughs> the lingering effects of a sodium overdose, I suppose. Alright, looking good. Now let's craft some more donuts. We'll get a good payday out of these as well. Alright, looking good. Now, let's check some pricing. Cheese soup. 624. Not good. Gold bar. Nope. Donut. Nope. And fried egg. Nope. $200 for a fried egg, man. I tell ya. Diamond bar selling very low end. And iron bar as well. Okay. So we hold. We hold. And I think we're looking good. Uh, we have anti forager tomorrow. Let me make sure the fields get watered up here, though, quick. You thought I was going to forget. And rightfully so, because I certainly have forgotten. Got a few comments during this playthrough suggesting sprinklers. I mean, it's, it's a good thought for sure. But we're all watered up. We're good to go. Anything else to smelt in the furnace? Not seeing anything. All right, well, let's go ahead and end our turn right there. Maybe we can get some better pricing on our cheese soup. Of course, we'll see. But when that 4,000, maybe it's a five, 6,000 stack does end up selling. That is our ticket to the sunset here, folks. All right, looking good. Looks like our... Almost our last harvest has been achieved here. Which is good. It just leaves more space for sand, which we, of course, will need up until the last day. Looks like we got some wheat here as well. All right, let's get it watered. And I suppose fertilized too. All right, pigs, we're going to start with you today. Feels like the day of the pig. Which I'm sure you are happy to hear. Yeah, there's definitely some stickiness when they're on these rocks, for sure. They just don't want to accept the fine quality products you are offering. All right, looking good. So let's take care of said rocks. And let's grab some more coal. Might as well be selling coal at the end of this all. We are fast approaching the day where we just offload everything, right? That's my favorite day. But like I said, hopefully we get a decent price on our cheese soup at least one more time here. Otherwise, we're not going to get anywhere close to 10 million. Let alone 15. I mean, maybe 15 is just way ambitious. 
But Logan said 10 mil, and I trust Logan's judgment. So let's go. All right, looking good. Cow friends, you're up next. How much glass are we sitting on? 874. Do we need the milk? I, I would almost value glass more than milk. We have enough milk to make cheese every single turn for the next, you know, what? 10 weeks? Without even worrying about running out of running out of milk, right? So I think we can just go ahead and use all of our glass on cheese soup. Sorry, very scattered thoughts there. I'm trying to uh, get all my chickens fed. This is why you don't want to mix your fences here, folks. I'm telling you. Just not a good idea. I think that's all my chickens. I'm probably missing a few, but that's okay. All right, let's make some cheese. Where are you at, milk? Yeah, we got like 2,600 units of milk, which is insane. All right, looking good. Looking good. Uh, so sand in the furnace, you bet. Only 87 units of sand, yikes. Suppose I can dig up down here quick. Let's dig up this area here. Probably get a few more units here. Alright, what did we get? We got another 72 units of sand. Not bad. We'll certainly take it. All right, animals for the most part fed. The sorry looking fields have been watered. 243 charges of truffle soup. So let's go ahead and prioritize the cheese soup here. Microwave that Velveeta, let's go. All right, 103 charges of truffle soup left. Let's move on to the eggs. And I want to conserve my glass as much as possible, of course. But we also want to get benefit out of crafting truffle soup with truffle soup in our belly. So let's go ahead and craft just a bit more. We're doing good on glass, yet, kind of. Alright, back up to 220, respectable sum. Alright, more fried eggs. You bet. And donuts. This is almost the turn where the flour catches up with the sugar, but not quite. Yep, 17 units of sugar remain from a once mighty, mighty stack. All right, so the crafting is done. We're looking good on that. 
I could probably do... Yeah, vegetable soup. We have plenty of materials for that. Let's make some of it. All right, looking good. All right, let's check the pricing. Drum roll, please. Let's go. Cheese soup, come on. 600. Yikes, man. What is going on? They are going to price gouge me probably because I've been ripping them off all game long. Yeah. Really, really, really bad pricing all around that particular turn. That's okay. Let's hope for some better luck tomorrow. Let's end our turn there into Handyman. Plus $15 for crafting an item. you love to see that for sure. All right, let's go. All right, day five dawns here. Got our last white beet harvest. And the fields have been completely emptied and hollowed out of all crops. Now, I wish we could. And I'm definitely not going to do all of it, but if we can just get a bit of land available here so we can redig it. I think that's a smart thing to do. Get one more little glass harvest before we land this plane here. I'm good with that. This should give us enough glass to help sustain. We'll see. Better than nothing, that's for sure. Let's grab all this stuff. Let's dig all this up as well. Tremendous. And onward to the, the coal. Let's grab this. Might as well make use of that demolition, right? Coal has been gathered for the second to the last time. Feed the pigs. There you go, my friends. Here's some potatoes for you as well. Some glorious potatoes. And radishes all around. Let's go. And one more. Thank you, pig friends. Might as well mine some of this trace coal here in the pig pen. And onward to flour. Alright, looking good. These windmills are... These windmills, excuse me. I think I said windmill. These windmills are feeling a little left out, so let's have them join the party. How much sand did we get? 186. All right, looking good there. Yep, sugar is definitely a problem here. So let's go ahead and craft 
some donuts. We have one unit of sugar remaining. We have 30 of these white beets here. So we're, we're going to be getting flour next turn, right? We're going to be getting just a little bit of sugar. So what I can do is I can craft bread. I think that's what we're going to do. But first, let's feed our chickens. They've just been so good to us. All right, cauliflower here. You bet. Let's go. There's a chicken hut in there. There he goes. Carrots. Carrots for the chicken. You bet. That appears to be about it. Okay. Let's go with the milk now in the cheese press, of course. Okay, looking good. Alright, so let's craft up some cheese soup here. Definitely keep an eye on our truffle soup. Yeah, let's make some more truffle soup. Looks like we're going to be just fine on glass. So let's make some more truffle soup as well. And use it by way of fast click. <laughs> Alright, looking good. And continuing on. Can we get it to 5,000? It's going to be close. Five thousand. Let's go. Forty-nine eighty, and we better get some favorable pricing soon here. Otherwise, we're leaving cash money on the table, and you don't like that. All right, more fried eggs. You bet. All right. So the question becomes now. Um, Yeah, so we do want to feed our animals or our chickens and pigs tomorrow. Because you can still craft their products. Okay. I was wondering about maybe just using the rest of our carrots for vegetable soup. I mean, I think we can. I don't often... I don't think very often that we, we will be using nine carrots per turn to feed our chickens, right? So I think we're pretty good there. I mean, pumpkin soup, right? So we can actually craft a wide array of things that we haven't been crafting because it's been, you know, animal food, right? So let's make some pumpkin soup as well. All we need is the glass, of course. Got to be careful about that. All right, I think I'm about good with that. Uh, black market. Diligent. No. Nope. Just don't need it. Just simply do not need it. Don't need this coal either, but let's buy it anyways. Whatever. All right, furnaces looking good. They're roaring. Um, we have some flour here. So let's make bread with it. We're going to get more flour next turn. We'll have much more flour than sugar. So we might as well make a more lucrative product. And let's just hope we get a good price on it. Who knows if we will. Just have to find out. What kind of cook would we be if we didn't make bread as well, right? Alright, cheese press is good. The fields, there's nothing to grow anymore. The mines, I'm just not interested in mining. This common stone. Got our windmills a-churning. Let's check some pricing. 
All right, 638 for the cheese soup. Do we roll the dice and wait one more turn? I think we do. I think we can do just a little bit better than that. Uh, gold bar, 124. Let's roll the dice. Donut, 116. Again, roll the dice. Fried egg, yikes. 60. Yuck. Vegetable soup at low end, 300. Iron bar at 70. Man, they are just gouging me right now. Pumpkin soup, also not selling very good at all either. All right, tomorrow is going to be a telling turn. Hopefully, we get some favorable pricing. How about the kale sandwich? Nothing. Man, nothing is selling good this turn. A uh, fertilizer, yeah, that's selling high end. Good deal. Uh, milk selling low end. Grass selling low end. Sell the kale seeds. Cauliflower seeds. White beet seeds. All right, well, let's hope we get some favorable pricing tomorrow. <laughs> All right, let's end it there. All right, day six dawns here, and this is the final day of action here. So let's collect everything. And really, there's not much to do. I mean, we will feed our animals, but there's no point in making more products here on this particular turn. Because, like I said, tomorrow the game just ends. So we're going to try to get to 10 million here, Logan. We'll see what we got. We got gemstones is what we got. I mean, I'd like to be able to say that we made 10 million in this run. But it's all going to depend on pricing. Let's see. Yeah, there's no need to make flour. No need to make glass. No need to make more cheese. It all just simply does not matter anymore. The things that were of such high importance no longer matter. All right, coal, let's get it. No need to put anything in the furnace this turn here, folks. So let's feed our pigs for the final time. And then bid them farewell. It's been good, pigs. Thank you for finding so many truffles from deep in the earth. I do appreciate it. Your nose knows, if you know what I'm saying. So thank you, chickens. Well, pigs. <laughs> thank you, pigs, I mean. <laughs> All right, now, chickens. The other animal we must pay tribute to. Thank you, chickens, for just pumping out a nice 12 pack of eggs per chicken here. Every single turn. We could not have done it without you. In fact, I think chickens are pretty darn strong. I believe you can put the eggs in the furnace too and boil the eggs, I, I believe. Don't know how well they sell, but that's another angle you can take with the copious amounts of eggs that you get from the chickens and pink donuts, right? Alright, so that's looking good now, I do believe. Again, no need for the cheese press, no need for the furnace, no need for the windmill. I mean, we could get wacky and just start hacking all this stuff down and sell the raw materials. We could do that. But let's check some pricing first and foremost. Let's check some pricing. Well, actually, let's craft first and then check pricing. So, of course, we're going to craft some cheese soup. It is the go-to. It is the champion. And we have exceeded the 5,000 stack mark with cheese soup, which is just absurd. So let's get some more truffle soup as well. It's on the very last page. Let's get that cooking. 
Eh, yeah, might as well. Just do a little bit more. Basically, any glass that we have left over, it's wasted. Well, not wasted, we would sell it, but you can convert it to much more lucrative things, of course. Alright, looking good. Cheese soup, let's go. Cheese soup to the moon. The moon is made of cheese soup. Alright, so the final tally for the cheese soup will be a giant and wild stack of 5,400. And I just saw it there, folks. We are going to get top end pricing for the cheese soup. You love to see it. This thing might get to 10 million after all. I'm oh so curious to see what this is going to sell for. You love to see it. You just love to see it. On the final day, could have got low end pricing, but instead we got high end. So just lovely, lovely stuff. I mean, the difference is $100 per unit, and we're talking 5,000 units. All right, use the rest of our sugar on donuts there. You bet. And let's see here. The kale sandwich. Let's do a little comparison here. Kale sandwich selling for $192. The bread is selling for $61. So yeah, you bet. We craft kale sandwiches all day. Why? Because we can. Yeah, it's it's more lucrative. Of course, I have to take into account that we need you know, two units of bread to make one sandwich, but it still does net out positive for us. So let's just make a few more things of truffle soup here and right off into the glorious sunset that we have created. All right, craft some more kale sandwiches, you bet. That'll be a nice little stack. All right, looking good. Is there anything else we can just kind of craft? Vegetable soup would be a nice one, but we can't do it. Uh, pumpkin soup, you bet. There goes the rest of our glass there. All right, I think we're pretty much at a standstill here. Not really much else to craft. So, drum roll, please. Although the surprise has been a little bit foiled... Drum roll, please. Let's check some pricing. We're selling it regardless. It does not matter. So let's check some pricing. All right. Kale sandwich, 192. Sell it. What did we get there? 115K. Very nice. One unit of glass. Yeah. Making bank. Sugar. See ya. Bread. See ya. Grass. Unfortunately, selling low end milk. Very unfortunately, selling low end. We have a, just a generous stack of milk here, and it's only selling for 16. Yikes. Well, we're selling very low on that one. We're donating milk. We're donating coal as well. That's not good. Uh, truffles. Yeah, kind of donating those. Kale. Donating that. Potato. We are... Selling for profit. Radish donation. Wheat. Kind of a donation. Cauliflower. That's a generous donation. Pumpkin. Also a very generous donation. My goodness. We are just donating things here. It's not how you make money, folks. Alright. Stone. Sell it. Sapphire. Sell it. Flour. Sell it, unfortunately. Egg. Sell it. Rough ruby. Rough sapphire. Rough emerald. A literal pile of dung. Sell it. And here we go. This is where it gets interesting. Diamond bar. Got ripped off there. Iron bar also got ripped off. Gold bar. Ripped off. $5.67 million. Okay. We have the pumpkin soup selling high. Very nice. Love to see that. And that's going to net us, what, 23K? Not bad. 
Vegetable soup selling low end. I guess they just didn't like it anyways. Wonder what Chef Ramsay would say. 23k there. Fried egg selling much better than it was last turn. That's for sure. Not high end, but that's all right. We'll take it. Power stack number one. Sell it. And that is $232,000. Very nice. Donut, 128 of 150. We rolled the dice. Don't necessarily know that it paid off, but yeah, we'll take 128. It's respectable. 297. And now, folks, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. This is going to dictate whether or not this build gets to 10 million. I think it's going to be close, but I'm also not certain. But let's see. We have the famed cheese soup, the microwaved Velveeta, the Gordon Ramsay special. Let's go. Selling high end 700, 5,400 units. Selling for 700. I understand it's a simple math equation, but don't ruin this for me. This is exciting stuff. So let's go. Let's sell it. I'm actually going to manually drag it to the box. It's just more dramatic that way. All right, let's go. And what did we get? We got $3.78 million. And folks, we have breached the $10 million threshold. Logan, you were right, my man. You were right. Tremendous. Tremendous, tremendous, tremendous. $3.7 million in one single sale. You love to see it, folks. And that is a nice little ribbon on a really fun run with the cook. So let's end our turn there, of course. And let's end the run. Let's land the plane. Thank you so much for being here with me throughout this playthrough. I sure hope you enjoyed. So let's end the day here. Day six is a thing of the past. It's a lucrative day in the history books. And day seven dawns, seventy-five or seven hundred fifty thousand dollars drops out of the bucket. And then we get to our victory screen here, folks. And what do we have? Total earnings: eleven million dollars. Caught two hundred eight fish, three grand from the fish. Harvested almost forty-five hundred crops. Got twenty-six thousand from said harvested crops. Obviously. There's cash embedded everywhere with what those crops did for us, right? Fed our animals, were used in some crafting. So that, that number right here, the money from crops, grossly misrepresented. That is, of course, the, the straight money that we got from selling crops. Money on rolling, 78k. Money from honey. Money from honey. That's a, that's a nice little statement there. 6,100 furnaces used 13,000 times. Built 340 buildings. Spent 37k in the shop, 22,000 energy down the drain, survived 55 days. Fun stuff here, folks. Very, very fun stuff. And that is, of course, going to wrap up our cook run on Ultimate Difficulty. We crossed the $10 million threshold. I was feeling a little skeptical about doing that, of course, when you know things weren't selling good, but... You know, we always had that gigantic power stack of the cheese soup, our key and featured product in our back pocket, just waiting for the right time to sell. And what do you know? The right time to sell was, of course, the very final day of the run. So with that said, folks, it's going to wrap up yet another run of another farm roguelike. Um, if you are new to the series or if you're enjoying the game and you want to see more, there are plenty of other playthroughs of this exact game on the channel. You can find them on a nice, neat little playlist. Just come on into the channel, look at the playlist tab, and you can find all kinds of playthroughs of this game here. If you are enjoying the content here on the channel, please help a small content creator like myself out by liking and subscribing. You know, liking, of course, is... Uh, Helps, helps get a little boost in the overall algorithm. Also helps offset some of the down votes that I get. I wish people would specify why they're down voting, but I don't know. The internet's kind of a weird place. So if you do enjoy the content, please consider liking as well. I would really appreciate it. Really helps me uh, kind of fortify this hard work that I've been doing. This hard but enjoyable work, I should say, that we've been doing here. And, you know, like I said, new content creator here. Been at it since very late November 2023. 
having a great time. One of the things that I really found I enjoy about being a content creator is making enjoyable content for people like you. So if you're liking it, subscribe if you're not. Give the video a like. Help me out in that fashion. So I want to thank you so much, folks. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for uh, taking this journey with me, right? The cook run. I mean, we had some meager beginnings. It was an uphill battle, but once we kind of got there, boy, did we take it to the moon. So with that said, folks, I am getting on out of here. Thanks again for one final time. I really do appreciate it. Hope you have a great day wherever you're at in the world, and we'll be catching you in the next video. Thanks a lot, folks. Really appreciate it. Bye.